G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, today um, I'm going to be insulating the IVCs a little bit and I want to move the power away from the water and also I just want to do a bit of like q and I want to reply to a couple of comments that were made on, on the previous video. Um, I actually plan on answering a few more comments than I have before but obviously it's going to be two days after because I'm a day ahead in videos Obviously the comments that were made today you guys won't be watching it until tomorrow and then comment on that tomorrow if that makes sense um, All right, so let's quickly cut to a little clip I made at work of me breaking up the styrofoam I broke up the styrofoam at work because I didn't want to make the mess in my shed and it was cleaner and easier Alright guys, now I need to figure out how I'm going to get this all down behind the IBC there. So, see see that gap? There's like a 90mm gap. That's where this styrofoam is going. So, I've got a board here to climb on. That was actually easier than I thought. And... So my plan is, I think I already told you, did I? Oh, anyway, I'm not going to fill the whole thing with styrofoam. I'm going to put some rock wool down behind there as well. Mind you, looking at this, I'm, I might be able to fill it up just with this. So I'll give you guys a bit of a look. I really, I got a piece of, oh you guys saw, I got a piece of pipe and I jammed it right down. Um, so now from from there up will be rock wool. Um, I'm going to do the rock wool up here behind the 8 foot. And I'm going to leave it at that for now as far as insulation goes because it's summer. But if I do decide to heat these in winter it will be insulated on the front as well <clears throat> and just quickly i wasn't filming sorry guys but i moved the power board up out of the way of the water water falls down you always want your power higher than your water um someone commented that i should make a bracket for the phone on the wall it's actually a really good idea at the moment it's super glued to the charger um, and the weight of it pulls it down but it never actually falls out because if it fell out it would I would get a text message on my phone alright so a couple of you guys were worried about the access to this solenoid um, you can see here there's still plenty of room I, I really I don't like the location of the tap I never had I never have but I would have to take the whole sheet off the wall to get to the tap and move it um, for how often I access this maybe I, I've turned that tap off maybe twice a year since I've had it there so it's not that much of a hassle that I'm worried about it and this solenoid is a, like a 70 maybe even more $80 solenoid this is a Burmad I did my research and this is one of the best solenoids you can get and there is a reason behind having the best solenoid there so once I had a cheap solenoid on there, it didn't turn off. These IBCs filled up and it overflowed. And I actually had my Milwaukee radio sitting under here. $300 radio in the bin because it got flooded out. Um, I've got like... I, I just don't want water falling here. There's like a $1,000 lawnmower parked under there. Um, bad times if water falls 
from the IBCs. <clears throat> so both of my solenoids are Bermad solenoids. Um, definitely something I regretted on cheaping it. I've said it a hundred times in my videos. For the OGs, you will know how much I hate the last solenoids that I had. Um, I think I've actually thrown them all in the bin now. I used to have a couple of trophies here. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. Another subject I wanted to touch on quickly was someone commented saying I should be using the bottom drains for um, drain and fill. There's two reasons that I'm not. Um, these IBCs will be linked into my water system, so it'll be a drip, basically a drip and overflow. So I can't create an overflow from the bottom. And the other reason was I can't actually turn these IBCs that way because if you look at where that post is, that from there to there is only like um, 350 to 400 mil. Um, the IBC is actually 200 mil bigger that way than it is that way. So if I had have turned that that way, it would have come out to about here and I wouldn't have been able to access that corner. Um, I could have turned this one that way, but... I think it looks better with them both the same way, even though they are slightly staggered. Um, at the end of the day, I was just working with the space that I had, <clears throat> and I really had no need for the bottom drains. Alright guys, I hope those replies to the comments didn't come across as up myself. Yes, you guys are definitely right, I should have moved that tap and the solenoid, but I'm a little bit lazy and yeah that's about the only reason why not um, and also to remove that tap you need a licensed plumber so I'm not a licensed plumber so that's a re that's also another reason <clears throat> so tomorrow's video we're going to be talking about building a DIY filter for the IBCs so my mission is to build a filter for zero dollars um, Obviously, I've got a lot of spare parts and stuff around the house to make it for zero dollars So I don't expect all of you guys to be able to make the same filter for zero dollars But at least it'll be you'll be able to make it cheaply if that makes sense um, <clears throat> I was actually going to use these Originally, I was going to make a few of these bin filters for the IBC's but it, I would need like at least three per IBC <clears throat> and um I've decided I'm going to go with something a lot bigger than that, so you guys will see that tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, sorry not much happened. Um, I promise tomorrow will be action packed and make up for it. Peace out.